Hi there, and welcome to Treasure It. My name is Sarah, and today I'll be walking you through some of the coolest features Treasure It has to offer. Before we get started, you should know that this video will focus on features for end users, but don't worry. We have another video specifically designed for admins as well. You can find the link below in the description. So let's get started. Treasure It is a file sync and sharing solution which provides the highest level of security with patented end-to-end -end encryption. On a side note, for this demo, I will be using a Windows laptop to access Trezor it, but it is also available for every major platform and web browser. To kick things off, I put in my credentials and then comes the two-step verification, which adds an extra layer of security to the account. This is required for everybody in our company. Okay, now I can access the encrypted storage. It looks like your usual file manager, but everything is protected by Trezor it. For example, the listed folders might look completely different for a colleague of mine, since I may have access to other documents. At the moment, I'm working on a financial audit. Now, I've come to the point when I'd like to invite some of my colleagues to collaborate on it. In this case, I can create a new Trezor, which is a main folder in Trezor terminology. Interesting bit of trivia for you, Trezor comes from a German word, which means vault or safe. I can upload an existing folder or even entire folder structures from my device to the cloud. Here's everything our team needs for the financial audit. I select this folder to sync it to the cloud. From now on, whatever changes I make in the cloud will be changed on my device and the other way around too. By the way, additional files can be uploaded to this Trezor by clicking on the upload button or by dragging and dropping any file from the computer. Each Trezor is a separate entity from others. Only those specifically granted access to a Trezor can see its contents. Now, I'm going to invite the colleagues I want to work with on this audit by adding them as members. This method of invitation works with people who have a Trezor at subscription. By setting access rights, I can make sure people will only be able to do what they are required to, but nothing else. Here, I can set access to manager, editor, and viewer. If you'd like to follow what's happening with your project, you'll like this feature. I can see the recent activity of other users under the Recents tab. Here, I can filter out one specific Trezor and I can follow others' activities such as file creation, editing, deletion, renaming, and more. Going back to the folder now, here I can see the unlimited history of file versions and recover previous versions if needed. This may never happen to you, but the restore function does come in handy when somebody deletes a file by accident. I can restore it easily and continue working on it. Let's say our team is ready with preparing files for the audit. At this point, I involve our external accountant who doesn't have a Trezor at subscription. This is when I use the shared link. The shared link is an end-to-end -end encrypted method for sharing files, folders, or even folder structures with anyone. I use it to replace risky email attachments because this way, I can keep control over my documents even after sharing them. On top of that, Trezor provides some really cool tricks here to supercharge your security. Since I know we need to submit documents for the audit at a certain date, I set up an expiration date to make sure nobody will be able to access them after that time. I set an open limit as well, which comes in handy when the file shouldn't go from one hand to another. For now, I will set it to one. For maximum security, I add a password as well. I would strongly advise sending the password via a separate communication channel than the link. So if you share the link via email, you should share the password via a phone call or chat. Links can be tracked with the access logs where I can see who opened the links and when. I'll talk about that in a little more detail later. I can also require that recipients provide their email address so I'll know exactly who downloaded the files. Great, here's one more thing I should mention about links. I can create links directly from my Outlook app as well, which is really useful. I can send any file straight from my computer. Let's go ahead and share it now. That was easy, right? The great thing is that it's super comfortable for the recipient as well. It requires no Trezor subscription, no additional software or add-on to open the files. 
Let me show you what the recipient sees when you send them something. Here is the email with the link I just created. I click on the shared link, which takes me to the download page. As I set password protection for the link, I'm now required to put it in. And that's it. I can already view or download the document. What I love about the shared link is that I can keep control over shared files. I can see the downloads via the access logs. This means I can see who opened the shared files, as well as when and from where. Have you ever sent a file to the wrong person? Trezor's product team knows that it can happen to anyone, so they made a feature to revoke links with just a click if necessary. This makes the download page immediately inaccessible. Once the audit is done, I want to make sure that the files will stay as secure as possible. I move the final files to a Trezor, which is available only in the cloud. Thanks to the Direct File Open feature, I can open and edit cloud files up to 48 megabytes without downloading them. It means files stay under protection the whole time, and I can work strictly in the cloud. Here is another nice touch. I can access cloud files directly from my Windows or Mac File Explorer. It saves me a tremendous amount of space on my hard drive. Whenever I need some help using Trezorit, I can quickly go to the knowledge base where I can find many useful articles and videos on how to use the software. In the last seconds, let's talk a tiny bit about the settings. I can change the language here, as well as the password. Trezorit doesn't have access to either my encryption keys or my passwords. They remain entirely in my hands. This zero-knowledge principle ensures that nobody, not even Trezorit, can access my highly sensitive content. So, those were the most important features of Trezorit. We have another video about the Admin Center, where you can learn more about user management, policies, reports, and how to further improve control over company data. After all that, I'm sure you can't wait to take Trezorit for a spin with our free 14-day trial. Simply click on the link on the right to get started.